Are you rolling? Oh yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Great to know. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your your. Tell me a little bit, a little, little, little. <laughs> One more time. Hey guys, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen, and I'm here with my friend Sam from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. Hi friends. So Sam, tell us a little bit about your channel. Yeah, I share vegan, easy, super delicious recipes. I love it. And you've got a cookbook coming out. I do. In October, it's going to be so good. It's called Fuss Free Vegan. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Also, I'm excited because today we're going to be making vegan ice cream floats. So delicious! Yes! It's like, <laughs> bring me right back to my childhood. I mean, it was pretty much the first recipe I mastered. It's not that hard, right? No. Ice Scoop, cream. pour, done. Enjoy, right? So I'm going to be doing a kombucha raspberry peach ice cream float. Sounds amazing. Yeah! And what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be doing a ginger beer and coconut ice cream float. Love it. I'm obsessed with ginger beer. It's okay. like literally my best friend for <laughs> so I'm super pumped about these recipes. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's do this. <laughs> All right, Sam, so we are gonna start by making kind of like a cheater sorbet. You don't need to have uh, an ice cream maker for this. It's gonna be really, really simple. Awesome. So what we're gonna do, it's kind of like a take on peach melba. Have you ever had like peach melba? No. I don't actually know what that is, but I just know it's tasty and it's a combination of peaches and raspberries. So we're going with that. Two good fruits, I like right. it. <laughs> and they say what grows together goes together and these are both two amazing summer fruits that I love. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. So I've got some frozen um, peaches here. These are peeled. You can use them fresh if you wanna freeze your own as well, of course. And I'm just gonna get this in with some beautiful frozen raspberries. So I always keep frozen bananas in the freezer and uh, that's what I've got here. And that's gonna add that kind of creamy creamy texture. So I've got some lemon juice here. It just helps to kind of bring that natural sweetness out a little bit. All right, so just a little bit of maple syrup in there. And this is really to taste so that, you know, if you've got really ripe bananas, you probably don't even need to use a whole lot of it. Uh, so just kind of taste as you go. So let's get the lid on. All right, so now we puree. Did not fart, I promise. <laughs> Did not fart. <laughs> promise. I was here, I witnessed. It was yeah. it was the food processor. All right, so I'm just going to load this into something freezer safe. It can really go in any kind of container. And then we're gonna pop this in the freezer. And we gotta be patient. We gotta wait. Oh no. Ice cream time. Uh -huh, I'm excited. All right. <gasps> oh, it yes. looks so beautiful. So good. Look at that color. All right, let's assemble this. So I have some peaches, some raspberries, I've got some fresh mint and basil to add a nice kind of freshness to it. Beautiful. And I'm using a ginger flavored kombucha, which is one of my all time favorites. Obviously, we've got lots of health benefits with kombucha, some probiotics in there. Also, it's really low in calories. And it's got that same kind of like fizzy flavor that I, I really love. Gotta have the fizz in a float. Gotta have the fizz with the float. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. In we go. Whoa. All right, let's get another one in there. Oh, those layers are so neat. I know, I think it's kind of like the way it freezes. It's just like, the outside certain, like it's exposed to the air, it changes color a little bit. All right. So beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna throw a few raspberries in these. So let's get them in there. Get a little pretty color in there. So fruity and delicious so looking. So fruity. So a few of these little pretty peach slices and some fresh mint and a basil leaf. I mean, this is good all on its own. You don't even need to do anything, but we're gonna take it to the next level, and that level is making a float. Yeah. Float level. Float level. All right, and in goes with the ginger kombucha to so get the fizz. Ooh, so fizzy. All right, get some straws in here. Super cute straws. Here you go. Thank you. And little cheersies. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's super good. It's like little gingery. It's delicious. Sweet. It's 
fruity. Refreshing, perfect yes. for this hot summer day. I'm so excited about this, and I'm so excited about your recipe over on your channel. Thank you, yeah. Coconut ginger beer. Mm. Delicious. Also um, really tropical. We got the yeah, whole tropical vibe. The ginger. Love it. Love the ginger. So definitely check out Sam's channel over here. You're going to definitely want to watch that video and make both of these ice cream floats for a little ice cream float party. <gasps> That'd be so fun. So fun. Invite me, please. Yes, me too. We will host it. We will be there. We will make the floats. So Absolutely. If you provide some refreshments of the adult variety, yes. we'll be there. Bourbon. Yeah. Just oh, saying. Yeah. I'll take anything. I'm not. I'm not. I'll just drink <laughs> All right, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorite all-time float combinations. Ooh. Like this video, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye! Bye.